guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Maggie, it's the Mixed Match Maggie channel, and today we're going to be doing something crafty. We're going to be turning in a whole bunch of shirts. I literally have a trash bag, maybe half a trash bag full of them. We're going to be turning them into t-shirt yarn, and then we're going to be crocheting them into cat mats. This is just from one t-shirt, so I think I'm going to need a lot. So let's get started all right guys so the first couple things you're going to need was supplies i have a cutting mat this makes things a lot easier because i'll be using a rotary cutter this is from ultima um i also have a fisker but i didn't have any new blades for it so i'll have to get new blades for that um but we're gonna need that and if you're going to use the rotary cutter and a cutting mat I also have a 15, 16 inch, um, it's called a hexagon ruler. Um, I got this from Joann's and I got this from Joann's. This I got for my birthday or Christmas, something like that. Um, fabric scissors, we'll definitely need fabric scissors, um, whether you're using this to cut the whole t-shirt or, um, do, um, the part where it makes it into t-shirt yarn. Um, and then you will need a crochet hook for when you crochet the mats if you're a knitter go for it you can knit i can't help you there and then of course t-shirts i think that's all i will need i'll need a sharpie later to show you how to cut the t-shirt yarn but you don't need that unless it helps you then go for it all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your t-shirt it doesn't really matter what size obviously the larger t-shirts will give you more yarn and more material to work with but it doesn't matter you can use whatever size it's your t-shirts you know dad's t-shirts mom's t-shirts brother t-shirts as long as you get permission from them of course um what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut from sleeves or your armpit area right here right across i'm not sure what i'm going to be using this for but at least this part will be the t-shirt yarn um, so you're going to cut right here. doesn't completely matter if it's straight or not, but if it does matter to you, then all for it. Don't forget to lock this. Ooh, almost got all the way through. Yeah, since it is four layers of fabric, it might take you a couple tries and a lot of effort to put into this. Part of the reason why I'm doing it on the floor. So this part, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll like cut into strips and use it for like cat toys or something. Um, the whole reason I wanted to do this was because I had a whole bag of t-shirts. And so I emailed my local SPCA, uh, which is like five minutes down the road from me. And I was like, hey, I really want to make cat mats for you. And they were like, great, here's the size that we need. And the size we're probably going to be making is about the size of this mat. Because she said like 21 by like 30 something. And this one's 21 by 17 so i think about making like half the size would probably be good just so it doesn't take up the, the whole like crate or cage area all right so next you're going to cut off the hem um this part down here that gets like sewed and fold over and all that But yeah, if you think about doing this, um, definitely contact the local like animal shelter and see if they need them and if they do what sizes they would like. Because the person that I emailed also was like, yeah, we also have like open areas. Um, so like those ones don't have to be a specific size. So maybe if I have a lot, um, I'll make a big one. But since one t-shirt made like three rows, barely three rows of single crochet. I think we're going to need a lot just to make one mat. All right, so essentially right now you have a giant tube. That's what it looks like. And you're going to keep it like a tube. And then, let's see, try to learn how to do this. I'm going to fold it off screen because it has a logo on it and I don't want it to show. Okay. 
All right, so you're gonna fold it in half, but not all the way in half. It's gonna be hard. It's okay if it's a little wrinkly. All right, so you're gonna leave about maybe inch, inch and a half. All right, I think that's how much I'm gonna leave. And it's okay if it's not like even at the end, it's not the end of the world. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to either use your scissors or whatever color or whatever you want to use. You're gonna take it and you're gonna cut all the way up until here. So make sure you cut through this little bit, but don't cut all the way to the end. You're gonna want to leave at least an inch, possibly more. And I'm making my strips about an inch wide. So if you want to make your strips like an inch and a half, maybe leave a little bit more room up here. But I'm gonna make them an inch. All right. Once again, this is like four layers of fabric. So this one I cut a little bit far, but that's okay. So you're just gonna scoot it over. I really like using the mat because it gives me a good guideline. All right. So there's a couple strips. As you can see part of the logo on the back. Um, so I'm going to do this for the rest of the row, and it's okay if you like, if you want to even this part out, that's fine, but I don't think it's super necessary. I don't think the cats will mind if it's a little uneven, so I'm going to do that in a time lapse or sped up a little bit, and then I will show you the next step. Alright, so I finished my last strip. Guys, make sure always to you close your rotary blade. Alright, so make sure that all of the strips are completely separated. And you should still have this connected piece up here. See, these two are still kind of connected. No big deal. All right, looks like all these are separated. All right, what you're gonna do next is whatever arm you do not cut with, or whatever hand you don't saw, I'm right-handed, I'm gonna cut with my right hand. You're gonna slide this onto your arm, right where this seam is, right where that fold was at the end. You're gonna slide it onto your arm. That's how I usually do it, but for the sake of right now, I'm gonna pretend like this is my arm. All right, so we're pretending, pretending that this is my arm. Doing it on your arm is a lot easier, but for the sake of this, we're gonna do it this way. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna cut right here do that a while okay and then next you're going to go diagonally and what I mean by that is you're gonna go instead of going like see where this line starts instead of going straight across you're gonna go diagonally so you're gonna cut here then you're gonna go to the next one and cut here so to this line right here from here Next one over here. Can't draw straight lines to save my life. And if you're just getting started, like you could definitely do this. I was trying to find a washable marker or one of my uh, chalk markers. 
or chalk pencils and I couldn't find one but if this makes it easier for you before you like actually start cutting definitely do this and then when you get to the last one you're gonna just cut from here and then add a diagonal just to the edge right where that is so I'm gonna show you as I do it on my arm so this will be like your hand you're gonna start here so here's the first strand and this will make one continuous piece if you do it the, the correct way. So you're going to cut from here to here. And then just drop that. From here to here. Try not to cut yourself, please. From here to here. From here to here. And you're just going to keep doing this all the way up. And then this is the last one, so you're just going to cut from here to the edge. And there you go. And if you want to test it out, you got one continuous piece. Alright, but before we go through all of it, what we're going to do first is we're going to pull it and see how it kind of rolls on itself. This kind of stretches it out a little bit, but I think it also makes it easier to crochet. So it's going to take me a second. All right, so come back when you're done stretching this all out. All right, you should have all of your t-shirt yarn or rope, whatever you want to call it. Um, if yours has an emblem, it might, or like a logo or something, it might not roll, but that's fine. It's, it's no big deal. All right, so the next step will be to actually crochet it and that all depends, well, one, if you do crochet, and two, what size your, um, like your SPCA or your, your dog shelter, or cat shelter, whatever it may be, um, whoever you're making these for, you can make this for yourself too if you have your own cats. Um, so you'll need to decide what size, so this is what I've started so far with just one shirt, and it's about 22, 23 inches, almost close to the end of the board. And I want to make it at least as big as this board. I think that would probably be a good cat size. Maybe a little smaller. We'll see. It all depends on how many shirts I have. So in order to connect this, I thought about sewing it because I have my sewing machine up there on the table. I could do that. It might be faster, honestly. Eh, heck, let's go do it. All right, I'm back. I just did the zigzag stitch. Just two little rows of it. Cut off the extra thread and such. I already had black thread in the bobbin and all that, so it took about two seconds to do this. Maybe not two. That's an exaggeration, but you get what I mean. Oh, there's another thread. All right. <laughs> See all these yellow specks? That's from cutting the, the yellow shirt. Using the rotary cutter, I think, causes a lot more mess. It is so much faster. Alright. So then, you just... Look at all this yellow fluff fuzz. You just crochet away. It's almost like... Tiger stripes. Probably would have been better to ball this up in a yarn before I started crocheting it. Okay, 
I'm just using the single crochet. Oh, I didn't tell you what hook I'm using. I'm using a, I guess it's boy. Yeah, boy, B-O-Y-E, a Q17 or 15.75 millimeter. It's, it's a big boy. It's actually not the biggest hook I have. So I, was, I was trying to figure out which one to use. This is an N. 10 millimeter and then this is a 20. This thing is chunky. This is a uh, London K. It came in a set of like two other hooks as well that were smaller. I think this was the biggest one in the group. All right guys I am all done and I'm so excited to show you what I made. I did end up cutting 21 t-shirts up which is a lot. It's a lot to get out of my room too, so I feel better about that and not it just going to waste. So here's the first one I did. This thing is quite sizable. It's almost as big as my cutting board, but I think it looks really cool. So this one took nine, almost nine, almost missed a few stitches here. That's okay. I don't think the kitty cats will mind, but yeah, so this one took nine. I really like how the colors look on this one. And then I made this smaller one. I really like how the colors look. This one's about 14 squared, 14 or 15 squared. I did this one in like a corner to corner moss stitch and the other one was just stink single crochet in rows. But this one I think looked really cool in moss stitch. Both look really cool. And then we have this one, same concept, about 14 or 15 square, and then um, corner to corner moss stitch. But yeah, I think they look really cool and they're really squishy. So like even if you were to make like a, bat, uh, a mat for like by your bed or maybe in your bathroom or something like that out of t-shirts, it's like really squishy, like even with just one mat. So uh, I think the kitty cats will be very, thankful and grateful for these squishy mats and yeah that is everything guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial slash you know repurposing um of these t-shirts and i hope you got inspired to do something similar don't forget to like comment subscribe um and yeah follow me on instagram and facebook all right see you guys next time bye